You were young and your heart was an open book. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm over here at Target. I figured I would swing out and check out the skin. Ooh, what is this Avino oil mist? <laughs> it's already greasy on the outside. Oat oil and jojoba oil. Oh, it's scented. Too bad. Um, the oat oil, that's, uh, that's intriguing. They need to have more products that are like oat oil, jojoba oil, mambo combos, because uh, oat oil is like rich in beta-glucans and stuff that are good for uh, improving skin elasticity. And jojoba oil is nice and lightweight. Um, but, you know, oils, they mostly, they're not really great moisturizers because they don't seal in uh, transepidermal water loss like dimethicone. This is the up and up dupe for the daily moisturizing lotion. Quite a bit less expensive. Uh, yeah, it's got dimethicone in it, a uh, silicone. As a side note, it's really hard to find silicone-free tinted mineral sunscreens. I, um, I was getting this question over on my Instagram, can I recommend one? And the only one that came to mind is the Super Goob Zinc Screen. Um, that one is tinted. The tint is slight though it will leave a cast on deep skin tones but it does not have it does not have uh, silicones in it which you know some people find that their skin is easily irritated by different silicones I have not tried this one but I've tried um, the kids version and the matte one and I love both of them I'm sure this is great too I don't have the kids here. I saw this the other day. <laughs> I almost bought it and I was like, no, you have enough sunscreens and plus 20, 20 bucks says this one has fragrance, which it does, but who doesn't love Hawaiian Tropic scent? It's good. Um, otherwise, this looks actually pretty good um, and it's got iron oxides in it too. Is it tinted? I'm not sure, but the iron oxides, it doesn't look like it has too many. Uh, the iron oxides can potentially provide some protection against pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light. What is this? Go-to cola is uh, centella, and that's helpful for healing. Uh, after sun body jelly with carrot seed oil. Uh, unfortunately, the last thing you want to put on a sunburn is a bunch of exotic ingredients. Although centella is helpful for healing, but you wouldn't want to put fragrance on on a sunburn. I have a video on taking care of a sunburn, by the way. Ooh, this is new from Bear Republic, the gel lotion. What is this ultra lightweight? This is a zinc oxide. Has anyone tried this? Bear Republic has a few promising sunscreens, but I find that their mineral sunscreens are super zinky. And does this have fragrance in it? It doesn't look like it does, although it's got like some weird plant extracts, which are always, always an unknown territory. Like what are they gonna do? <laughs> Jump out at you like a pizza delivery man? <laughs> I don't know where I came up with that. Basil, I don't know. Ooh, Copper Tone came out with a, did I, have I seen this? Is this a foam? Looks like it. Um, this is gonna be zinky, but it's good. I love their pure and simple. It's zinky and shiny, but it's not too bad as far as the zinky white cast. Um, you know, it gets a lot worse. For example, uh, the Neutrogena Sheer, I say that in air quotes, Sheer Mineral is pretty zinky. This, on the other hand, the Invisible Daily, this is a chemical sunscreen, very good. Um, the, uh, I highly recommend the serum version. The SPF 60 serum is very good. This one has fragrance, but the serum does not. And it's free of oxybenzone, which is a chemical filter that stings around the eyes. Sun bomb cool down. That's got fragrance in it. Yeah, don't put fragrance on a sunburn. I mean, it's like putting, putting uh, lemon juice in a wound. Ouch. Ew, here's another one by Copper Tone. Sport Mineral. They usually put fragrance in their sport sunscreens. This one does not appear to have a fragrance. I'm sure it's zinky, but comment below if you've tried this. I also have it in a... This is new. I also have it in a... Oh god, Nelly Furtado's on, so that means they're gonna copyright me. Let's, let's come over here and talk loudly to mask 
Nelly Furtado. I bet this is pretty zanky too. Does it have fragrance? No. Cool. I'm gonna set it here, but I'm not buying it. I just it's awkward the way I'm positioned. Pacifica's collection of perfumes there. Neutrogena Hydrating Concealer on the Hydro Boost line. You know, Neutrogena has some pretty good makeup, even though I don't wear makeup. It's actually pretty good. This looks promising. Comment below if you've used it. Witch Hazel, a house divided. <laughs> uh, I feel like, yeah, I mean, use Witch Hazel if you want to. It's an astringent, it can calm down redness, but in dermatology, we mostly just see cases of people coming in with irritant contact dermatitis from using Witch Hazel. So like, it's not something that we're gonna be like, oh yeah, Witch Hazel's fantastic. Because there's just so many better, better acne and skin, Care ingredients, so it's like, what, why bother? But yeah, I know I'm gonna get like 10 comments down below. Which hazel's the only thing that's helped? Cool, keep using it. Um, but uh, it, it wouldn't be like a go to recommendation. I have a video on which hazel. What is all the scented stuff? Yes, to no, let's not. Oh, wait a minute, backtrack. Yes, to has some fragrance free stuff out, you guys. With avocado, is it actually fragrance free? This looks promising. Fragrance free daily cream cleanser. Of course they have to have an eye cream because, hello, cha-ching. Dude, just put the same, ooh, is this a sunscreen? Ugh, SPF 15, all right, that's not, that's not much, but that's not enough, 15. But I'm glad they tried with the fragrance free sunscreen and it's mineral, so that's probably not irritating around the eyes. Cool, listen to that consumer feedback, yes to. Um, if only Burt would, would carry on with that. This line from Burt's Bees is pretty good, the uh, sensitive line. I like those products. They're just, ex well they've actually come down in price, I feel like, since I reviewed these a while ago. These are actually pretty good. Sensitive line, oh my god, vital proteins. Cannot escape it, it's everywhere. <laughs> Collagen peptides. They have been shown to improve skin hydration, but the data is limited. To get questions on the collagen peptides. Or they can be difficult to digest. Give you gastrointestinal upset. Don't say I didn't warn you. I obviously do not partake in the collagen peptides because, you know, I don't ingest anything with a face. Are these echo tools good, I ask? Because I got a product in PR that is uh, something I actually wanna try out. And I think I need, a br uh, I need a brush for it. I might actually buy this, 360 Ultimate Sheer. Call my filming tax. I always feel like I need to buy something when I film these videos because like, I've gotta be annoying in here with a camera and so I try and buy something as like a thank you. <laughs> it's like a thank you gift. What is this? Oh dear, hemp seed. Hemp seed oil is actually pretty, pretty nice. Uh, it's got a lot of antioxidants and stuff in it. Carrot seed oil. This actually does not look too bad. I'm not so into the facial oils. So. Because, you know, it's fine if you want to use them, but first of all, if you put a facial oil on and then try and put sunscreen on over it, it kind of affects how well it sets up. And oils, again, they don't really seal in hydration. Am I pointing you the right way? Happy hydration cream. Is this one fragrance free? Looks like it is. This actually looks pretty good. Panthenol, it's good for the moisture barrier and it's got niacinamide and hemp seed. Who's tried this? Is it good? Calm balm, lip conditioning balm. Hmm, I may have to try that out. Five dollars. I thought Elf was like cheap. I mean, inexpensive. I have tried their Hello Hydration. It's not here. Holy Hydration. I've tried their fragrance free Holy Hydration. I swear, close your eyes and you think you're using one of those Olay moisturizers. In fact, I was like, are these, is, is Elf owned by the same company that owns Olay? Because it was like, 
pretty much sim very similar ingredients, similar consistency. You know how Olay moisturizers, they kind of have that filmy feel. They kind of leave it, they, they leave like a film on the skin. Anyways, the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Fragrance Free Moisturizer was like identical, but a lot less expensive. Like what is with Olay? Like who, who? Who do they think they are? Like, they, they should get kicked out of the drugstore because their products are just too expensive. I mean, $30 for a moisturizer is just ridiculous. Like, who do they think they are? Oh, look at all of those palettes, you guys. Emily Edit. All right. Minis. Here we are. Look, you can even spray yourself with buyers. This Target has some ser serious mini mini size selection the retinol 24 now we've covered that at now sam in my videos like every time i come in here i feel like i have to talk about that so i'm not gonna do it not gonna do it i like these mighty patches they're helpful for um reducing the urge to pick what is this lightning wand product that they have i feel like somebody asked me about this like uh, several months ago on on the gram and i looked at the ingredients and it seemed reasonable yeah niacinamide licorice root now willow bark do not be duped by willow bark that's one of those where that like if you don't know your ingredients you're gonna get you're gonna get played willow bark is not the same it doesn't work the same as salicylic acid you have to ingest it in order for it to be converted to salicylic acid so i don't suggest you eat your skincare products you know it's kind of like people are like oh aspirin yeah it works the same as salicylic no no they don't um just stick with actual salicylic acid now willow bark is anti-inflammatory so it's not like a bad ingredient it's not like something you have to be like oh avoid but don't don't be fooled into thinking that it is that it is a uh that it's salicylic acid what is versed come out with now overnight facial peel shortcut lactic acid rose oil have i covered this i, I can't remember this seems what, what it lactic acid you, you know 9.99 for a mini okay that is that is ludicrous luda just do the um the good molecules um i forget what it's called i'll put it in text good molecules has that like lactic acid overnight something or another it's got like aha and bha and it just use that instead of 9.99 for the mini that is like hardly any cleansing balm rock they put fragrance in all their retinols i keep getting these questions can you recommend a retinol for beginners like th there's no such thing i mean retinol is retinol like you either want to use it or you or you don't like it's like tequila for beginners that being said i i would say go with companies that have been around for a long time as far as their retinols because they tend to have better r d like neutrogena johnson and johnson they have a ton of patents on retinol and Procter and Gamble is probably fine. Rock is probably fine. They've been around for a long time, since 1957, but they put fragrance in all of their retinols. I love this Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight Shampoo. I'm intrigued by this, the Jelly to Cream Conditioner. Comment below on if you use this. I imagine this is great if you have, um, if you have textured hair um, for detangling. Um, but I've never seen this one. The Petal Soft Hydrated Happy Clean here with rose water. I love the f the way these work. The, at least this one. I haven't tried this one, but I'm sure it's similar. I love that it's got like this pointed tip so you can direct it at your scalp. And I just love, it goes on like a liquid. Like you feel like you're pouring water on your scalp and then it just gently foams into a nice lather. It's really good. Um, so yeah, I like Carol's Daughter. Oh, we're over, over here. $9.99. Anytime there's a scrub, it can cause a lot of irritation and dryness. Like, like St. Ives there. Like, <laughs> looking so sad. $4.29. Uh, yeah, it can create little tiny micro tears. End up leading to more water loss. And when you're talking about the scalp, that can actually put you in a situation where you end up with uh, little acne-like bumps or folliculitis. How cute is this so hand soap? Soft vanilla, the tiger on it. Uh, 
are these razors actually any good? You know, ladies, don't buy women's razors. You're getting ripped off for sure. Oh no, we got music coming in. What is it with this Target? There are like certain aisles where the music is jamming and other aisles where it's like silent. Anyways. There was a study recently that compared the cost of men's versus female, women's marketed razors and women were getting, were getting taken to the bank for sure. Speaking of shaving, this is like my favorite uh, shave gel, this Aveeno, but Up and Up has a less costly dupe. You can save a dollar and I kind of like their packaging a little better. The silver, it's very sleek. Oh jeez, why are they pumping everything with caffeine? I, I guess it makes sense in a shave cream because it can kind of temporarily reduce red Picnic Shaving Company. Antioxidant rich, naturally dry. Oh, it's vegan. Planet kind. Oh, this is like a Gillette. Environmentally friendly Gillette. Ah, for those of you dealing with perioral dermatitis, a trial of switching over to silly strawberry <laughs> toothpaste. Uh, may help because some of the flavorants in toothpaste might actually be responsible for perioral dermatitis in some people like the peppermint and what's another toothpaste flavor mint and cinnamon really irritating but uh, the strawberry and children seems to be pretty pretty good now it might also be not necessarily the fluoride but the level of SLS in the fluoridated toothpaste that is associated with worsening perioral dermatitis. Um, so be careful of the, the SLS in particular. But this, this is a good one because it doesn't have the SLS, but you still have, you still have some fluoride in there. So this is what I recommend considering if you're dealing with perioral dermatitis and you think your toothpaste, toothpaste, toothpaste might be responsible. Also make sure that you try and avoid getting toothpaste around your mouth. And I don't know, I'm not a dentist, but I suspect people use too, like more than they need to of toothpaste. This is the toothpaste I'm currently using. No, this is not a recommendation. It's just a side note. Uh, the Colgate Optic White, because I got it as a three pack at one guess, one guess, Costco. Um, it's very strong. Um, but it's not bad. Um, I'll finish it and then I'll move on. <laughs> I'll ghost it. <laughs> These cute welly packs. Ah. Uh, Wow, this is a good deal on the Carousel Foot Ointment, $7.89. Highly recommend this for callus, you guys. It is amazing. It's very good. Better than better than a pedicure. What is this? Triple action foot cream. A dupe for something gold bond. Hmm. This is a urea foot cream with fragrance in it. I really like the... Um, blanking on what it's called. It's not sold here. You can get it on the Amazonia now. It's always in my empties. Good lord, why can't I think? Probably because I'm squatting in an awkward position in the middle of an aisle looking at wart freeze. Uh, the Dermatonic Soothing Foot Cream. That's what I was thinking. I like that one. This is Invisible Spray Powder. No way, miss. Oh, is this a deodorant for the feet? Yeah, it helps absorb excess sweat. You can put antiperspirant on your feet if you have really sweaty feet. Helps with cutting down on foot odor. I did a Maddie Limberger workout this morning. Is that how you say her last name? Limber Mad Fit workout. And I am feeling it. Thank you guys for the recommendations, by the way. Um, this little collection of lip balms over here. Anything good? Ew, what's this Vaseline lip therapy? White Petrolatum. This one has flavor added to it. I wish they would put Vaseline in a tube and not add flavor to it. Wow, guys, Target was, I don't know, I was vibing in there and they had a lot of good stuff. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this Shop With Me video. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.